Hello, I'm Pam Rutherford, a fourth grade teacher at Overton Elementary. Welcome to Room 207. My goal is to provide a tailor-made environment to meet the diverse academic, social, and emotional needs of my students each year. I believe that my job is to facilitate the presentation of skills and allow students the freedom to explore, manipulate, and discover how that skill can be applied. The classroom environment is key to ensuring student success. In the right environment, students feel safe to question, to experiment, to be honest about their frustrations, and to celebrate success. I believe that my ability to create and maintain an atmosphere that encourages honesty also enables me to hold my students to high levels of accountability. They seem to understand and accept what is expected. By helping students set realistic goals, learn how to meet those goals and how to adjust goals, students become invested in their own education. They understand the importance of taking ownership of responsibilities and they become stakeholders to celebrate their accomplishments. Planning an organization is important as I strive to set high expectations for all students. This is where differentiation becomes evident in my classroom. Whether the skills are being taught one-on-one, -on -one, small group, or whole group, I want each student to feel that they can and will achieve. A balance of fun, excitement, and respect, grounded by expectations that are continually modeled, creates a day full of predictions, questions, and explanations, all led by students. We sit in small table groups, sit on the floor, stand at the Promethean board, have colored pencils and markers, journals for all subjects, use laptops, iPods, iPads, use music and silly lyrics to help us remember skills, ask questions, debate, and research for the sole purpose of making learning relevant to each student. In this environment, students feel safe to sit on the floor when they just need to spread out, stand at their desk if they're too wiggly, ask for time to calm down or to regroup, and to question everything. Students see my enthusiasm, know that I'm accessible, that I care, and that I want them to succeed. Class meetings are held weekly and more often if needed. We call them our family meetings as students become aware that inside our four walls we have indeed become a family of learners. We share concerns, make group decisions, and celebrate successes. Students who have difficulty understanding what is expected are quickly redirected. Consequences are consistent in order to maintain the environment that I feel is so very important. Students soon learn that we all make mistakes, but it's learning to deal with the mistake, take responsibility for the mistake, and change the action that is key to being a successful member of our class. There is so much to learn and so little time. Each day begins promptly at 745 and ends at 215. Snack time and lining up provide additional opportunities for chanting multiplication facts, singing a song, playing a math game, or reviewing skills. Every day is a new day. Our classroom is often messy <laughs> and a bit noisy. However, it's our classroom. Students want to be here. They are comfortable with what is expected and they learn to succeed. Thank you for visiting with us. I trust that you were able to get a glimpse of the atmosphere that I value as an essential part of making sure that each child experiences success.